We need a way to move people between our contacted and uncontacted tabs. And the easiest thing to do is to add a swipe action to the VStack in our prospect view. This allows users to swipe on any person on our list, then tap a single option to move them between the tabs. Now, remember, this view is shared in three places. We have everyone, contacted and uncontacted. So we're gonna make sure the swipe actions look correct no matter where they're used. Now we could try and use a bunch of ternary conditional operators here, but later on we'll add a separate button here so the ternary operator approach won't really help very much. Instead, we're gonna wrap our buttons on a simple condition. So first things first, in prospects view, find your current VStack with one list row here. And now add this modifier, swipe actions. So here, if our prospect is currently contacted, this button will say mark uncontacted. For the system image, a bit of a long one this one, we're gonna use person.crop.circle, so a person in a circle area, with a badge over them, that's an X mark. So a little X over the person saying, you know, uncontact this person, whatever. And for the action we'll say prospect is contacted, toggle. This button is uh, not terrible, it's not deleting anything here, but it's not great. So I'm gonna say this has a tint of uh, blue. Then in the else area for our condition, we'll say the button is mark contacted with a system image uh, being very similar, person crop circle again. Uh, this time, I'm gonna fill it in with a badge and a check mark. So, so it's more positive, yes, this is good. Like that. Uh, and then we'll uh, code for that and we'll be prospect again, is contacted, toggle, like that. This is a good button, so I'll say the tint is green. Now, thanks to Swift UI and Swift Data's tight integration, just calling toggle on this Boolean will flip the Boolean between true and false, and then update Swift UI view, and also save the change to permanent storage, all in just one line of code. If you run the app now, you should see it all works correctly. Let's find out. I have my user here in the everyone tab. I can swipe on them and say not contacted, or contacted correctly, and I'll move between tabs. This person here has been contacted right now. If I swipe on them, it says not, tap on that, boom, away they go, into uncontacted, and then now they appear here correctly. So you can move between tabs smoothly, like that. Now, swipe actions are a great feature for adding extra functionality to your Swift UI app, but they don't play nicely with the on delete modifier we've used previously. So we've got to make delete work by hand. And we're gonna do this in two ways here at the same time. We'll add an individual swipe to delete like we have it on delete. We'll also add a multiple selection option that lets users remove multiple entries at the same time. Now again, getting a swipe to delete equivalent is straightforward because we just add another button to our existing swipe actions. But please do add this first in the list of actions up here for the two existing buttons. That way it, will, it becomes uh, the automatically full swipe to activate functionality, which is the default for this kind of functionality. So we'll say here there's a button which is uh, titled delete. The system image will be, oops, crazy, will be trash, like that. But the role will be dot destructive. Mark this in red, this is a bad button. And the action will be model context, delete that prospect. Now, when used by itself, a simple swipe to delete, the regular swipe to delete does not use a trash icon. It shows the word delete. But when used alongside other swipe actions like we have here, Apple prefers to have an icon to avoid having some icons and some words side by side. That'd be weird. A second approach we're gonna add here is let users select multiple rows at the same time and delete them all in one go. This means adding some new local state to store their active selection. So we'll start by saying we have some state at the top here. At state private var, selected prospects, 
is a set of prospect. Obviously empty by default, no selections. We can then bind that to our list. So we're gonna say for our list uh, down here, yes, go over all our prospects, but then track selection bound to dollar selected prospects. Now this next bit's important to help Swifty Y understand that this whole V stack and its swipe actions, this thing represents one prospect being selected. It's important to add a tag to this. Below the swipe action is fine just here to say you have a tag of prospect, meaning when I am selected, that is what you should add to the set or remove from the set, that prospect object. And now, we're just gonna decide what kind of UI to build to make selection and deletion possible. There are a few different options here, and of course you're welcome to experiment, but I think the easiest is to show an edit button in the top leading part of our navigation bar, which is where it normally lives in Apple's own apps. We can then activate a mass deletion, like trigger the deletion with a second button. And Apple usually has that in a special toolbar at the bottom of the screen, very far from the edit done button to avoid mistakes. First, we're gonna add a method that'll trigger a mass deletion. So down here somewhere, we're gonna say, there's a new method called delete. And what this is gonna do is loop over all the objects in that selected prospect set and delete them one by one. So we'll say for prospect in selected prospects, enter model context, dot delete that prospect. And now we can add two new toolbar items to create uh, to alongside our current toolbar item here. Um, so we have this current one for doing scanning, this thing here. The first one will be an edit done button. So I'll say we've got a toolbar item with a placement of top bar leading. And that will show an edit button. Then another one that will create the delete button, but only when there are actually selections available to delete. So we'll say if our selected prospects is empty is false. We have something you actually want to delete here. Make a toolbar item with a placement being dot bottom bar, like that. That's a separate toolbar at the bottom. In there will be our button, which is text only this time, uh, delete selected. No icon here, make it really clear what this thing does. The action for this will be to call delete. Now with this option in place, we're giving users two ways to get to the same thing. The regular swipe delete functionality they expect to see, but also a clear edit done button to aid discoverability. Now your code won't run right now, almost certainly, because we're now using toolbar item here and here, but a regular button here, and Swift's not sure what we mean anymore. You wanna wrap this button here in a toolbar item that knows where to place this thing. We'll say you have a toolbar item with a placement of top bar uh, trailing, match what we had before, then put a button inside there like so. Now, Command R, go ahead and run the app. So we should see a swipe to delete, um, because this delete button's the very first thing in that swipe actions area, you can swipe further to trigger a delete like that. I'm gonna add a uh, sample person, uh, add another one, so we can do multi-delete. There's our edit done button. Boom, I can now select stuff. I'll select you and you, and then as you can see, this delete selected button's appeared. I press that, they both go away. It's working really nicely.